just thank you to our crowd. Like, I, I know every time I come in here, but it just keeps getting better and better. I want to thank everybody that came out, looked up, and their nearly entire soccer team's here. Like, coaches are in the building. Athletes are in the building. Folks from town, we need everybody in here Monday night at 6 o'clock. This team deserves it. But I just want to kudos to our crowd. Um, just a huge Thursday night crowd and school night. And uh, just we just can't say enough. I know it means a lot to these kids that folks are coming out and supporting them. So we just really need everybody Monday night again. And just want to say thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, you know, I think Texas A&M on the perimeter is as good a defensive team as we've seen all year. Um, Joni does an amazing job. Uh, they play defense like the Georgia teams that she had and uh, really do a good job and make everything hard. Um, so, you know, they're, they're about to get someone. And we were just thankful tonight that it wasn't us and we were able to make enough plays. I thought we rebounded the ball better the second half. We were down at the halftime and came out and re out rebounded them by one. Um, we made more free throws than they shot. I just thought we did a lot of things to weather their runs and, and just stay a distance that we were able to maintain our lead. So, you know, it took all nine tonight. I'm really proud of the nine kids that we have and thought they all did something really positive. Um, S.A. and Brittany, the way they were on the boards and to have near double-doubles with Brittany, and then S.A. just was a warrior. Um, Hannah's first half was incredible. Um, just a lot of key plays. I thought Carly's minutes were huge. Great decision-making and poise down the stretch. Just so many little things that all of our kids did that may not show up in the, chat, in the stat sheet tonight. Um, but it was good to build on Ole Miss. Coach, your team's put together a string of quality wins here in conference play. Can you talk about the, the confidence that the team has and how important it is heading into Monday's game against the tough LSU team? Yeah, I mean, you know, we always say your will has to be stronger than your skill. Um, and I just love who this team's trying to be. They're really playing for each other. Um, they're trying to do um, things at a really high level every day in practice. Um, you know, there's not a day where we come in and have to complain or get on them about effort and energy. They're always at their shooting times or spending time in film individually. I mean, they're just a hard-working group, and we knew that's who they could become. And I just think you're starting to see us really come together and do all the little things that can really separate us. And, you know, to be 4-2, and two, um, yeah, we wish, we wish we had a couple back. But I think what this team has done, uh, especially on the road at Auburn and Ole Miss, and then to come home and defend our home court, um, it was really important. One word we say at the end of every huddle is consistency. And so we have to stay consistent with every, every habit we're about um, in all areas of the program, and, and, and they're doing that. Yeah, uh, for Brittany, obviously, it's, yeah, um, first game back after the injury. Um, just how are you feeling after it, and what do you kind of want to do as you get back into the rhythm? Um, I'm feeling good, and just pick up where I live off and help our team be the best that we can each and every day. Uh, Hannah, you had a season high 14 points. Just what did you see in Texas A&M that allowed you to excel and, and just talk about your performance overall? Yeah, I don't think there was anything specific. Um, they weren't switching a lot of their screens. So whenever we were able to set a good screen, people were able to get open looks. Um, I think that, you know, there there was a couple times when SA was able to penetrate and play off two feet, draw a second defender. Um, when we're playing unselfish basketball, we're going to create open looks for each other. Um, and I think that's what we did tonight. You have a lot of players who maybe don't show up on the stat sheet with the points, but they do a lot of other things very well. Where does that kind of just talk about the team? Maybe they're not getting, you know, to start with points, but, you know, Carly Weathers had two rebounds, two assists. You know, Ryan Collins had four rebounds. Just what does it say to have people on the bench willing to just sacrifice and maybe not score as much? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, they're just amazing, and their heart is so big, and it's for each other and their team, and just whatever you need, I'm willing to do. Um, and so they're just so important to our success. And like you said, it doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but they both did a great job. You know, Gianna tries to come in and give us a couple of minutes here and there. And, um, you know, Loyal came off the bench tonight. I thought brought a lot of energy. Yes, she didn't, you know, missed a couple of little easy ones, but just her presence and just her tenacity and who she's trying to be. So, you know, bench, bench points and bench decision making is so critical in this league. So it's, you know, it's little things that make a big difference, and those four really helped us tonight. S.A., this one's for you. A couple of good performances these last couple of games, 11 points and 10 rebounds tonight. Can you just talk about how you've been able to step up these, these last couple of games and, and help this team succeed? Yeah, I think it's just having coaches who have confidence in you and um, pick you up no matter what. Um, you know, they tell me every single day, keep shooting, keep attacking, keep playing team basketball. And I think that's just what each of us are doing. Um, I'm kind of, I'm, 
um, playing like less like kind of thinking about what plays we're running and stuff like that. I feel like I'm in a better groove offensively. Um, but it's a testament to Coach Christie. She's uh, in my ear all the time, just wanting me to make the right play. But she's just picking me up all the time, um, and I can't thank her enough for that. So. Uh, yeah, Coach, you uh, held Texas A&M to 316 from three-point range just and 35% from the field. Just what defensively uh, can you comment about your team's defensive performance about you know, against uh, Texas A&M? I thought they did a really good job. We were, you know, we were trying to make sure that, again, it was one of those games where know your personnel, which we call KYP, and did a really good job of playing personnel and contesting every shot. I thought we made it really, really hard. I thought our full court pressure didn't allow them to get comfortable. And, you know, we were bringing it and not bringing it and then bringing it and just kept trying to keep them off balance a little bit. But I guess I was most proud of the fact of how we, we rebounded the ball the second half. You know, a lot of their buckets, a couple of in the first half came off second and third chance points, and we did a better job in the third and the fourth of limiting that. Coach, okay, you had Joni Taylor. Obviously, she didn't play under you here, but she played at Alabama. What does it mean when you can have alums come in on the opposing side and maybe for the players – I say, Hannah, I know you want to be a coach. What does kind of see when you see an opposing coach that's an alum? It's really special. Uh, first of all, from the moment that I took this job 10 years ago, Joni was one of the first people that said, we believe in you, we're going to embrace you, we're going to support you, and it will forever mean the world to me because not everybody in coaching, especially that are coaching, will say that. So she has believed and encouraged and been amazing. Um, you know, and it's the same thing that I've always tried to do for her. You know, um, I've got two little girls, um, big girls now, and she's got two little girls. So I just respect so much. Um, you know, her and Darius are both in coaching, uh, very similar to Kelly and I. And, you know, I'm pulling for her, and I know she's pulling for us, and she loves her alma mater. And, you know, it's just really special to see the impact um, that Joni's going to have in our, in our league like she has at Georgia. I know she's going to do great things at Texas A&M. Yeah, it's really special. We obviously know the impact that she had on our program. And for us as players, it's our responsibility to continue to build on that and to continue to represent it well. Um, we've always respected what she's done um, and all the teams that she's coached that we've played against. Um, and she's always been, you know, super, super nice to all of us whenever we've had any contact with her. So. For any of the players, Coach has talked a lot about the importance of this month. Now that you're starting to find a groove here in this month of January, you feel like you've, you've been embracing that message of really focusing on, on these conference games and these wins? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, um, we have, we've won three straight, and practice is going to be just the same as if we were to lose to Missouri. Um, and I think that's what the coaches are just, you know, putting into us that it doesn't matter. You know, yes, we're going to celebrate the win till midnight, like Coach always says, but tomorrow's going to be a grind. Saturday's going to be a grind. Sunday's going to be a grind. Um, and I think that's just what you understand is it's a grind in January. It's a grind in February. But you want your momentum from January to go into February. And I think that's the biggest, um, you know, part that we're trying to focus on and just trying to play together and play as hard as we can. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for being here. Roll Tide. Thank you. Roll Tide. <laughs>